two days ago, we witnessed a serious earthquake here in Victoria, B.C. Houses were damaged, people were people were injured, and many and many houses are still without power, leaving people isolated and unable to get word out to their loved ones. Victoria News at Six has become aware of a new technology that is greatly helping current rescue efforts and making it easier for both rescuers and victims in this challenging time. The Joint Generator. Pretty much everybody watching this show will have an exoskeleton robot suit in their house. Like me, they use it weekly to make household chores easier. The Joint Generator gives the old suit a new boost. To learn more, I am talking with, with one of Unique Technique's Inc. team members who helped who came up, come up with this brilliant idea, the Joint Generator. The team member is Dr. Murray Apples. generator, we researched possible problems during an earthquake. First, we consulted our local fire chief, Stephanie Dunlop. Then we checked the internet, watched YouTube and TED Talk videos, watched films and read books. How did your team analyze this issue? We looked at all sorts of solutions to various earthquake-related problems, such as quadcopters, communication, jetpack suits, 3D printers, and they all seem to need power. Then we research, research, research ways to get generate power if the grid went down. Can crank temperature difference, water power, using the sun or wind power wheel and creek, and so on. Our favorite idea was to modify a robot exoskeleton. Our clever solution used suits already functioning gears and servos to charge its own battery. This battery can then be used as an emergency power source. We checked to Google Patch and nothing out there and nothing similar was out there. We put our engineers on and a joint generator was born. Thanks for that, Dr. Bolton. What an ingenious idea. I'm going to the earthquake site to see the joint generator in action. So the problem with them is they run out of charge. The joint generator um, uses the motors and servos that are already in the suit. And when you flip a switch, it's back here, <laughs> and move my arm, it generates power. And then when I, it converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. And then when I flip it again, I can use that energy that I've stored to make me stronger. Oh no! Flying debris! joint generator. I'm now going to visit a nearby homeowner and see how the joint generator is working. <laughs> I'm here with homeowner Blake. He purchased the joint generator for his exoskeletons. So, Mr. Blake, why did you buy the joint generator? Well, I wanted the computer to be able to charge my exoskeleton suit at home and communication devices like my cell phone, laptop, and radio in an emergency situation. How much was the cost for the modification, and do you think it was worth it? The joint gener gen generator is not something expensive as, as it just adds a switch and uses the already functioning motors and servos. Thank you, Mr. Blake. There you have it, folks. Another innovative Victoria solution, the joint generator. We'll be back with more news from the site of the dev uh, from the site of from Victoria, BC, site of the devastating earthquake 2021.